Now, this support, moving on to Volcanics. I haven't read these yet. I have not read these yet, but I think this is... When I saw that this was a thing, that they, that they printed Volcanic support, I thought this was extra funny. Uh, Slender Revolution, thank you for the Prime. I thought this was extra funny because we literally talked about this. You, it, who was here when we watched the... I think it was Magical Hats with the, um, the Legacy support. Right? And I was like... A good example of cards that I could see being good again if they printed the right support is like Volcanic Shell and Volcanic Rocket and stuff like that. And then, literally, like, what? Uh, three weeks later? They're like, here you go. There's your Volcanic support. At this point, it can't be, it can't be a coincidence anymore. They are watching. Shoutouts to... All the Konami uh, employees watching. Appreciate you being here. Uh, don't forget to check for your prime Konami employee so you don't get any ads and whatnot. You know what I mean? So. Volcanic support. And I've heard good things about this. I haven't read it yet, but I know that there is this video. Which we're going to look at in a second. Titled, This is not okay. Volcanic Sprite. 2023, so I'm here for it. I am all here for it. Apparently, these cards pair well with sprites. Uh, 1,505 days of pain later, volcanic fans are finally free from the prophecy of 3,008 days ago. What are they referring to here? What are they referring to? Did they announce volcanic support like what four years ago or something? Pain reference? I don't know what pain is. Guy on Twitter that tweeted every day for new support. Okay, <laughs> I see. Volcanic strongest warrior. Someone obsessed with volcanics. Okay, well they are now free. Let's see if they are also they are free, but let's see if they're also happy. Uh, volcanic emperor level eight. 3100 attack, 2400 defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand or grave by banishing three pyro monsters or a blaze accelerator card from your face up field and or graveyard. You can only special summon volcanic emperor once per turn. When summoned this way, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each of your pyro monsters currently banished. Then you can set a Volcanic Trap directly from your deck except Volcanic Eruption. Each time your opponent special summons a monster, inflict 500 damage to them. Ooh, Masquerade. Uh, volcanic Eruption is not a Volcanic card, right? It's one of those uh, Frog the Jam problems, right? That it's not actually part of the archetype, so... They should just rename it to, like, Eruption the Jam or something, I suppose. Or Slime Eruption. Yeah, it's like one of those old dino cards. Uh, yeah, okay. Inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each pyro monsters currently banished. Then you can set a volcanic trap. Hmm. It doesn't do all that much. Like... It's relatively easy to summon, right? Because all it takes is one Blaze Accelerator or the Pyro Monsters. It does FTK if you have 16 banished uh, Pyro Monsters. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a thing, but okay. Let's read on. Wait, actually, legal targets for this card are Volcanic Inferno. And Volcanic Recharge. Let me quickly check these. Because I don't actually know these. Volcanic Inferno. Oh, that's the card. We don't even have that card yet. The cards read incredibly playable. Combination with Runic. This might be unbelievably toxic to play against. We'll see. Uh, oh, it's from the same... Okay, then no spoilers. Uh, the other one is... What about the other one? Volcanic Recharge. Oh, that's this old thingy. Okay. This is... 
Return three volcanic monsters from your graveyard to your deck. Okay, surely you're not going to play this. So it depends on whether Volcanic Inferno is good. Mm. Volcanic Trooper. Level 3, 1000, 1000. You can only use the first and second each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a Volcanic card from your deck to your hand, except Volcanic Trooper or Volcanic Eruption. Okay, I'm listening. All right. You can discard a card, special summon a bomb token to your opponent's field. When this token is destroyed, its controller takes 500 damage. Ooh. We can give tokens to the opponent to, like, fuel our Blaze Accelerators turn one. <laughs> bomb Monka W. I mean... What are the odds that this is re that this is renamed in the TCG to like Pyro Token or some shit? Probably. Either way, giving stuff to your opponent is a dangerous trait in Yu-Gi-Oh. I want to say there is a there is a dangerous amount of things you can do when your opponent has cards right um but there's that interesting volcanic rimfire okay this looks like volcanic shell on steroids if this card is sent to the graveyard you can activate one of these effects banish this card from your grave if you do send a volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard except rimfire okay uh, banish a Blaze Accelerator card from your face-up field or grave. If you do place a Blaze Accelerator Continuous Spell Trap from your hand or deck face-up in your spell and trap zone, you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. Okay, both of these effects are not bad either. That's not bad, alright. Uh, Zebra Quakes, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. Volcanic Blaze Cannon. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Oh, did they... Is that actually... Are they... I, I never knew this. Was... was uh, Were they originally named Blaze Cannon in the OCG and they renamed them to Blaze Accelerator in the TCG? Because they were like, we can't have cannons. They have to be accelerators. All right. Continuous spell card. Activate this card by sending a blaze accelerator from your hand, deck, or face up field to the graveyard. You can only control one volcanic blaze accelerator. Uh, okay, from deck. Interesting. Uh, once per turn, you can special summon a volcanic monster from your hand. Once per turn, you can target a face up monster your opponent controls, send a level one pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do destroy that target. Okay, now that's a card. That's pretty good. Uh, Exerion, thank you for the four months. That's pretty good. Right? I mean, this is every, this is every Edison player's dream card, dude. It needs the shitty Bricky Blaze Accelerator to use it, though. I mean, yeah, I guess. But the payoff is pretty sick. Fire ejection. Is that burst tinatrix? It is burst tinatrix. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Send one pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then, if it's a volcanic monster, you can apply one of these effects. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to its level times 100. Special summon a bomb token to your opponent's field. Okay, so it's a foolish burial for pyros with a bonus effect if it's a volcanic of getting some slight burn damage. We love that. And uh, a bomb token or a bomb token. Okay. And here is volcanic inferno. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can banish a pyro from your grave, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Then, if you banish the volcanic monster, you can negate that activated effect. Alright. 
During your opponent's end phase, you can target up to two of your volcanic monsters that are banished or in your grave, place them on the bottom of the deck in any order. Card's fine. Card is fine, but not like crazy. Uh, Sinar AP, thank you for the three months. I think in, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, that card is not good enough. I think because we, like, that card has advantage over multiple turns, but we don't play that many turns these days. So unless the game slows down, I don't think Morganite will be a thing. Uh, and then reprints, okay. I gotta say, some of this stuff seems pretty cool, but so far... I don't really know exactly how I would use these cards. I don't, there's no concept in my head what the game plan would be because, like, there's no extra deck monsters for volcanics. Uh, in terms of disruption for the opponent's turn, there isn't much here. I guess let's watch the lithium video, shall we? Let's watch the lithium video. I'm hoping the yo what's up guys is 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 fat today. Yo what's up guys? Super that was so fat. um new volcanic support. Let's try it out. The first of all the deck list. Uh, it looks ugly. It looks really ugly, but uh, it actually makes sense. Hear me out. So uh, first of all, I went over 40 cards, so Volcanic featuring Sprite, uh, it actually makes super much, uh, or at least a lot of sense, you'll see it in a couple of moments. I went over 40 cards simply because like the Volcanic... Oh, I see, we're summoning Mannequin Cat, and then when they get the token, we get to some... I see, what volcanic do you do Asian there? Volcanic cards, or Volcanic is playing, you know, cards that you don't really want to open, like the new, uh, you know, Continuous Trap, um, the Blaze oh, Accelerator, we can discard the old G one, the old school Ooh. one, um, the Big Boss Emperor, you know, you, want, you just want to send those cards from your deck to the graveyard, so that kind of makes it so that... You could definitely run more than 40 cards because of the multiple engines, and uh, you're thinning your deck by a lot. You know, shells, um, scatter shots, uh, the sprite oh, engine, and um, you know this brings me to sprite and the reason why it's there. Obviously, because you know it's it's a su it's a superb engine, extenders. Uh, but most importantly is because of the riot card here on field, and that's mannequin cat. You know, mannequin cat. Uh, it's basically the bread and butter of this deck. Um, I was running like pure volcanic first. And, you know, it's a super slow deck. Volcanics, like, years ago, they got, like, a new trap. Um, you know, the, 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 the trap blaze accelerator, right? Discard one. Okay, to uh, be remote. fair, to be fair... Actually, I do need to go to the left side. My bad. To be fair, most of this... is the sprite stuff. Like... You didn't... The... <laughs> The Volcanics didn't do that much. <laughs> they were just here. <laughs> this was mostly... This was mostly Sprite. <laughs> Let's be real. And uh, it, it changed the deck by a lot. But now, you know, the, the, the stun variant of the deck or the slowish, controlish build of the deck is... Um, it's far too weak. It still suffers from, and this deck as well, from like a big weakness, is that with the current support, but I think we can um, expect one more uh, card still for Volcanic, is that they are lacking uh, a Pot of Everest alike effect. You know, the, the deck, uh, other than the new Continuous Trap, uh, but it only sh reshuffles two, and that's during your opponent's end phase, so that's not that fantastic. So hopefully that one unknown, I, I believe it's one card, hopefully that one unknown card gives the deck that Pot of Everest alike effect. You know, shuffling back your scatter shot, your shells. That's the most important card the deck I feel is still missing. Maybe a field spell, I'm not sure, I'm not going to change that. <laughs> Imagine a field spell. So anyway, so here is why I guess again the sprite engine is there. Uh, gigantic sprite sh searching those level 2s. You have the angler engine is there simply because beaver is a superb normal summon. Um, you, you know, your <laughs> opponent won't, I guess, never... Why are you beaver, not attacking for game? <laughs> you had sprite, game like sprite. 10 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> why so are you doing all this? Sprint, <laughs> You're just showing off. <laughs> angler plus angler, like with just one of attack. the volcanics, the level 3 one. Forgot its name. You know, it gives your opponent like uh, a volcanic uh, token uh, by discarding a card. Uh, so you know, discard anglers, and you know, like like that's the the. Uh, it it just works so well. And like here, gigantic sprite. I was actually hoping that uh, gigantic uh, sprite would just be negated, right? Because of this, 
It, it, it makes Mannequin Cat live again. And the beautiful part is, is that Mannequin Cat copies like Fire, for example, or Sprite or whatever. But mainly Fire, and um, you know, I think every deck is main decking one uh, Fire monster. Be I will say I love seeing cards like Blaze Accelerator, Volcanic Rocket, and Volcanic Shell seeing play. Even if it's just hypothetically for now. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. But... Like, those cards, I just love those cards. Dude. Those are so cool. In Ash Blossom. So, you know, just reborn your opponent's Ash Blossom, and then that basically turns on your entire Volcanic Engine, especially because of, you know, Gigantic was negated, so I can still pump out, you know, level 3, 4 monsters, uh, because I'm not locked, right? Because it effect, it is, its effect didn't resolve. And again, getting off a mannequin cat is, with this deck, is kind of easy, simply because there's, at least there are two cards. I mean... With the new Volcanic card. None of this is better than what other sprite variants do. Let's be clear here. Like, this is just, like, this is just not better than other sprite decks. But. Cards that give your opponent, like, that, that you know, that, that fire token, volcanic token, uh, which makes Mannequin get an instant full combo for volcanic. Uh, well, full combo almost, right? Because it searches the new level 3, the new level 3 searches the new blaze. Is it better? No. And, Cooler? You know, yes. Of special summon. You know I what agree. I mean. It, gives you, it gets your boss in the grave, Emperor, etc. So Mannequin Cat, it's just the bread and butter of the deck. And, and honestly, I can't... One cool thing about Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf just randomly being here, like part of the group project, being able to run one red, one carrot and recycle them in the grind game, kind of bog. See this card, I'm kind of, I, I'm I kind of see down this card getting that. banned in the future. Not because of this, but um, I, I mean the interactions it has. Bro, scatter shot. As we've seen past formats, right? Featuring mannequin cat. Uh, a couple of things here for the deck is rocket is not once per turn. So again, you can use multiple times. The new blaze accelerate accelerator spell is also not once per. Well, it's once per turn, but once per copy. So you could like it's it's somewhere in the replays. Like send. I think it's a rim fire. Do new level one banish itself. <laughs> sunlight Wolf summon oh, on your side of the Mannequin field, Cat summon to Sunlight Wolf zone. New Blaze Accelerate and then you know, oh, use beautiful. its effects again. So special summon something from hand <laughs> and Foolish Burial something. Or you know, pop something and then Foolish Burial something. Long run is a fire. So again, more Mannequin Cat abusement. Uh, or abuse. <laughs> oh, abuse. Mannequin Cat is so broken. And that's again why the sprite engine is there. So, like, for now the deck is running 4 to 6 cards. I'm looking to drop it down a little bit. Um, the deck is also not running a full sprite engine, because this is not sprite. Uh, I think just... No, 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 not sprite. I think it's no, the no, same no, engine no, as Dinka Buri, as he was running the, um, the, the Fur Hire deck in, uh, at least at YCS London a couple of weeks ago. I think it's the same um, amount of sprite cards. Triple blue, you know, one jet, one red, one carrot, and then one starter. Starter, I guess, it's okay, but it blocks your entire combo. And, you know, this is still a volcanic deck, and using starter doesn't really accomplish that much. So that's why, you know, only one starter. Going second, and, like... Pure Volcanic, the deck definitely struggles against, you know, these kind of boards. But not this, because again, you have multiple follow-up ways. Uh, Accelerator tried to pop the Mascarina, sending Rimfire, you know, this gets Emperor on field, and now using the Blaze Accelerator Special Summoning Rocket, try to force, you know, some negations, and, uh, you know, Imperm on Emperor, so no continuous trap search. But this opens up, ah, the Nightmare play, you know what that means? <laughs> nightmare forces out or destroys the last back row, which we knew was that Book of Eclipse. And, uh, and that's why Angler is there, you know, for the Nightmare Package, for the new level 3 Volcanic Rites, discard, and then, you know, use Angler. And here she is again, yep, because of this, uh, Fire, right? Yeah, Fire <laughs> Attribute. And again, this turns out, or this turns on your entire combo, uh, even though Volcanic Rocket was negated earlier, right? Yeah, because of uh, Red, Red, right? Uh, I think so, yeah, Red. Um, I can still use this effect, right? Again, not once per turn. I get nipped, though. I did have an out. A couple of outs, right? For uh, for Avramax. So the nip was definitely needed. Um, and here, yeah, it's just act accordingly. That I was get impressive. The shell running, you know, the shell engine running. Still have the, you know, the, the sprite to be starter honest. for potential blue or, you know, either red or carrot. Depending that was not on bad. Which top deck that was a pretty good hand, though, to be fair. But, like, uh, there's a lot of cards that you didn't want to draw in that uh, situation have, as well. You know, the, the reload, you know, getting those draws and potential pops during your opponent's turn by sending, well, from the graveyard, right? Banish it from the graveyard. You know how it works. So going first again, and um, again, like always, the, the hand <laughs> okay, is forced thank you for out. That, 
valuable Let's contribution. Let's see if another hand <laughs> Thank you for the six um, months. I think Ash is going to get activated on Angler. That, you know, that kind of makes sense. I guess you... Ah, okay, no, 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 because of reds. Okay, it makes sense. Um, and you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is main making like like here in this format, right? But I mean, from from all the hand traps, I guess Edge is the most popular one. Um, so, and and that that's the thing. The, the beautiful part here is because of mannequin get. You're not relying on your opponent having Edge blossom because again, there is that foolish burial, the new foolish, forgot its name. But that also gives your opponent that counter, right? So again, that's fantastic, plus a level 3. So you're actually main making 6 cards that could give your opponent that, you know, fire attribute during the opening turn. So very similar to Plunder Control. Right. So again, very similar to how, um, I, mean, I mean, regular sprites, right? But other than that, like this, I was running Heat Soul, as you saw, but like this setup is much better. Just keep Sunlight Move on field, Mascarina, this gives you the opportunity to now use Inferno, Negate Beaver, and then still, you know, go for a Unicorn, plus this trigger, Sunlight Wolf, getting that carrot. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> he's so, so happy. Nice. <laughs> Using the container strips and make a shell so I can search it again. And I can get the still there. And I think there should be a f Yep, Ash Blossom. <laughs> I mean, it didn't really matter, right? Reborn anything, because again, that token was still there, so I can, you know, just target the token, and then, you know, get that full um, Volcanic Engine online again. So Mannequin Cat, guys, it's it's something that, it's um, something to explore further upon, especially for this deck. It, uh, it gives the deck more Bro, how many cards has he just printed, dude? Volcanic. You have like 13 cards. Oh, 14. It gets negated, and I just have to pass, right? At least that's how it went oh, for me Sprite? playing like pure volcanics, and um, and and then you're kind of um, um, you you know still super vulnerable to the fact that on this moment with the current support the deck does not have any form of you know a pot of Everest alike card other than the slow trap. So here, I, I guess opening scatter shot is not the best. You, you know, it's not the card you really want to open with. But here in this case, it's it's a level two one, a level two monster. You needed to extend your sprite engine or potentially turn on your sprite engine. So again, guys, it, it just goes super well together. Turns on mannequin cat here with due to the volcanic level three. And again, like this hand went from you know kind of okay. -ish. I mean, no against no hand trap. This is not that impressive. I just want to put this into perspective. Against no hand trap, this is not that sick. Like, do this. A couple of negations. Um, sprite starter, I guess. Or was it? I know it was used, but the two sets, I believe, are the two volcanic traps. Or is it an imperm? No, I think it's an imperm. Yeah, Inferno and imperm. I think so. Um, Runic Tip is definitely going to get negated. I don't want to battle it out, you know, against uh, the field spell. Yugen is getting negated by the container Strap. You have Banish, a Volcanic one. Scatter yep, Shot, which, you know, if the uh, trap is going to survive, I can just send it back to the deck to, you know, get those three copies in deck. This is fine. There is no battle phase, so I don't need to fear Zeus. And I think the only Bimaru is going to hit the field. For Emperor so Burn actually I hurts. Guess, like here, in all honesty, you just, you know, use Ob uh, only Bimaru and then, you know, pro potentially use uh, Smashers, but the game is lost either way. So recycle some cards, draw a shell, that's fine, you know. Okay. You I mean, I, I, I think two things. First of all, this is probably not the best way to play Sprite. It doesn't look terrible, but probably not the best way to play Sprite. Also, I don't think by the time we get those Volcanic cards, I don't know what DP28 is, like Duelist Pack or something. Uh, by the time we get these cards, we probably don't have Sprite at this power level anymore. Like, most likely not. Most likely not. We get it in August, we get it in November. Okay, so people are... People are not sure exactly when we get it. At some point, August. Okay, if it's August... That's four months. That's four months. There's like no shot that we have Sprite at the full power until August. So there's that. Are you going to Worlds? I'll try, but I'm not qualified yet. No one is qualified yet. Remember all the theory with Gishki? Kind of the same thing, right? Kind of the same thing. People were doing hella Gishki Sprite versions. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, 
when they released Gishki, they banned Elf at the same time. So no one actually ever got to do what they theorized. So I think best here is to just wait until these come out. I think this stuff doesn't feel bad. But it also doesn't feel like crazy good yet. We'll see. I don't know. Someone sent this as well. Volcanic Emperor FTK. I, this is probably just a meme. Oh, yeah, it's grass, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. That was easy. <laughs> I guess that works. I guess that works. Just snow banish 16 volcanics and then summon emperor for a game. That does work. 